about 8 15 tonight while i was in a rehearsal i got a text that asked me if i could get on a bus tonight at 2 a.m and go fill in for crowder fortunately tomorrow i am open and so i've been cramming songs and getting my stuff together to leave i got home about 9 15 or so and have been learning songs and going through parts i'm filling in for bj who is on the other side of the stage typically i'm filling in for kenny so you know it's different parts there's also some new songs that i haven't played obviously i'm familiar with them i was out with them most of november so i'm familiar with them which definitely helps um but you know just haven't played them so i've been trying to play through them and get as much as I can in the short amount of time I have. Um, I will catch the bus tonight and then we will go to Statesboro and then I will be back the very next night. Um, after we play the bus will leave and I should get home about 4 a.m. or so. Um, you know, in these kinds of scenarios, you just do what you can and do the best that you can and hope it all goes well. Um, I'm feeling pretty good considering, um, you know, the short amount of time, the short notice, and really just looking to have fun. Try not to stress too much and just know it is what it is. It's a, a short, a short term thing. Um, you know, as far as the, the time for preparation and all that, and just have fun. It's Friday morning, it's a little before 10 a.m. I got to sleep around three last night and got up, just had some breakfast and I'm going to grab my guitars and go inside and hopefully find a room to start going over some songs a little more. Last night, I just kind of briefly went through them. I didn't even make any charts. I just kind of familiarized myself with the songs so that I could figure out which ones I was gonna need to spend the most time on what I didn't need to spend much time on, um, just kind of getting a feel for where things are at. That's typically how I go about learning songs, um, you know, no matter how much time I have, is that I get an idea, a general idea of the songs, and then, you know, focus in more and more as I have more time. The reason why I do that is because you always have, you know, more or less time to learn songs. And so I want to make sure that I can hit all of them and I know all of them you know, as best I can, but as I have more time, I will focus in more, keep working on them, and kind of uh, just hone in things the more time I have. Obviously, today, I don't have a lot of time. I just have a few hours to learn a whole set of an hour and 15 minutes. So, um, you know, I'm gonna do my best. See how it goes. What you doing, JR? Uh, you know, man, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing. Uh -oh. So, tell us. Are, are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. So, man, for this milk and honey tour, we went to a white aesthetic, as you can see here. This lovely painted, <clears throat> gaff taped white SVT case, but not right here because the people don't see this. Right. The people, Unnecessary. The people might see this if we're in a um, stadium seating situation. You know, we play uh, all kinds of gigs. Our mitzvahs to stadiums. Um, so, anyways, we got a white base here I bought for the tour. Um, and then I went ahead and just got the white strap too. You're going all the way, man. I, I really am. Committed. And then, uh, so I'm getting rid of this strap, although I love it. Feels fantastic. Throw it in the trash. It's out of here. Just like that. I'm going to keep that strap, by the way. I really like it. But uh, yeah, just change the strap out and then putting this little uh, wireless guy on here. Hey, but but um, I don't know if you noticed, but this guy, yeah, it's not white. You know what? I'm sending an email right now. This is I can't. I'm sorry, I'm throwing this out too. Can't work like this. Got to keep that. Can't can't put that out. So this is what it'll sound like. You won't be at the end at the very end. Make some noise. One, two, Drum three, intro. four. Just transitioning, getting ready. Cool. That's great. Intro, two, three, four. Yeah. Cool. No, that's great. Go, go to back to guitar for me. I'm okay. Go, so that's right. cool. Be online. Yeah. Because I could, I could use you on like you. some like bed. Yeah. Type vibe stuff. Yeah. Exactly. That'd be cool. Oh shoot. The good news is, remember how it's always like when you fill in for something, it's like. You get the one chance to like do it <laughs> and make all these notes. The good thing is we'll get, we'll get to play it. 
Um, again. Again on Sunday, yeah. Sunday's a, a double show, by the way. Like two shows in one day. It's like, is it the same set? I've noticed, same set, yeah. Okay, same set. I, I noticed. Uh, not as this. This is a 75. We're only doing a 45. Okay. We did sound check earlier, and now I'm dressed for the show. It's about 30 minutes beforehand. The opening band is playing right now. And I got to say, I am... I'm pretty tired uh, going to bed at 3 a.m. and then waking up early this morning to go over parts and just going over parts all day I'm really feeling it um, hoping that I can hold out through the show but I think it's gonna be good we got um, check and um, everything's feeling and sounding good to me so I'm just gonna get out there and do what I can see how it goes Just wrapped up the show a little bit ago. Everything went great, um, especially all things considered. Felt good. Uh, just tried to have a good time and not stress out about little things. And um, yeah, I was happy with how it went, even with the short amount of time of preparation. But about to hop on the bus and head out for the night. We'll get into Atlanta about 4 a.m. or so. And then come to find out, you guys might have heard JR mention it earlier. Um, maybe it'll make the edit, maybe it won't. But um, I'm actually playing another show with these guys on Sunday. Um, up at Gatlinburg, Tennessee. So looking forward to that, looking forward to having another shot to get stuff right and, um, and play with these guys. It's always a blast. So we're going to head to Atlanta. We'll get in about 4 a.m. and then uh, I'll go home and rest up a little bit and then we'll head out late Saturday night. Man, we're just learning about waveforms and balanced cables. And DIs. And DIs. <laughs> Diso Plus Spin Strike DI. I don't think I've ever watched my video with other people. I know, but why let the boy the watch. We are in Pigeon Forge, about to go in and grab some lunch since been sitting on the bus this morning drinking some coffee, hanging out with the guys, but it's been raining all night. We were thinking we were going to get snow, but no snow up here yet. Um, I'm hoping that it'll start snowing later today. It's really looking forward to seeing some snow. Um, I think in Atlanta right now it is snowing, but it's not sticking. So I know my daughter is all ready to go on her sled in our living room right now. But I'm going to go in and grab some lunch and then probably hit some of these tunes. Today we've got a little bit shorter set. It's about a 45, so that's good for me. I don't have quite as much material to go over and, um, you know, just to, to tighten up. A lot of it's just kind of the staples that I've played before, so it should be a fun time. I've heard white cables sound the best too. Oh, sure. I learned that on one of your videos actually. <laughs> the way that, uh, you know, you've got the, the signal phasing and all that. Absolutely, Incredible. yeah. TRS, TRS white is like another level. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. I'll have to do a shootout. Well, if you put your ear up to it, you can actually hear the signal canceling out. Oh, okay. <laughs> During the set on Friday, I actually kind of dropped my guitar. I leaned down to adjust something on my pedal board and the strap came off. It was super awkward. I had to stay bent down and finish playing out that section. David noticed. He came over to check it out. Um, you know, I had to wait until the next section to be able to stand up and put the strap back on. So for Sunday, I had to figure out a solution. Super professional right there. Yep. That's gonna get it done.
All right, we just got done with sound check. Um, everything's feeling really good. This is a little shorter set, um, and we're actually doing it twice. I think there's like two different events going on here, and so it'll be two totally different set of uh, folks, but um, I'll get two chances at it, so that should be fun, but it's kind of a nasty day out. I'm hoping that it'll get colder and turn to snow, but for now, I guess I'm gonna go hang on the bus. happening we just finished we're packing up and I came outside and it's snowing again it's starting to stick I don't know if you can see it there yeah the bad part about that is hopefully we can get home safely um, I think it, in Atlanta it's not supposed to get below freezing until um, you know maybe three or four but I think we're not getting home until like five so hopefully the roads will hold out and we don't get stuck somewhere in the bus um, after the bus goes to Atlanta, it will go to Nashville. I think those guys are really worried about being able to get home um, at a decent time tomorrow, but we'll see. I love snow and I really get to see it living in Georgia. So I'm at least super pumped about that. We had a great set tonight. Um, everything felt great, especially doing the set twice. Um, just had fun. Uh, it was a good time. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about it. It was just a lot of fun, great crowd, and um, everything went well. I didn't have to think about stuff as much, which is always nice. You can just play and enjoy it and not have to try to remember what's coming up next or what you need to do or what your parts are. Everything was nice and settled in.